Thank you very much. I'm Aaron Harris, like she said. I'm an artist and a creative consultant. I've never been called a philosopher before, but I will take that. <laughs> um, and I have to admit something, but you can't tell anybody else. I'm actually a recovering attorney, too. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I've actually been described as terminally curious. And anyone who knows me knows that comes with millions and millions of questions about everything from what they did last night, what they meant when they said that, that time, three years ago, <laughs> all those kinds of things. But that curiosity has really helped me in my art and in my life. Um, Art actually forced me to ask questions of myself and eventually to ask questions of others. Um, here's some examples of some of my work. And um, I've actually found that most people have questions about art, such as what is art, what can be art, and the most famous question is what the hell does it mean? Um, <laughs> but I actually think that art is presenting us a question. So the real thing we should be asking is what is art asking us? See, art seeks to engage you beyond whether you like the painting, whether you like its colors, whether you agree with what it looks like or where it's at, should it be there or not. It is actually asking you to look inside and see what is it wanting you to address in your own life. Art actually is powerful as a question. It literally has the power to spark a response in somebody, anything from a personal response to an emotion or an issue in their life, or it can spark a response in the corporate setting with hundreds of people in one space. Um, it actually seeks to invoke a challenge in you, for you to change, to grow, to move, to respond, to buy something. Art is being used in that context now. Um, and all this by simply presenting a question. Here, this is a piece of art that myself and two other artists worked to create, and we wanted to present the question of would you as the viewer be willing to help fight slavery that still exists in our world today. So we work to highlight people that are fighting slavery today and connect them to people who used to fight slavery like Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, Frederick, du Frederick, Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, William Wilberforce. And through honoring current people, we were asking the other viewers, would you be willing to join in the fight as well? Um, and through this, art is actually through its questions and challenges, completely wrecked my life. It asked me to leave my career as an attorney so that I can embrace art, which led to me going bankrupt, <laughs> losing my home, actually losing everything. So when I actually think about it, I'm going, it, why would I still want to do art? It ruined me. But it actually made a new and better me. I want to go through some of the questions that art asked me. In these paintings here, on the painting on the left, Art asked me if I would be willing to admit that pornography had hijacked my brain. In the middle, as you can see, it says, if you can't read it, it says, I must confess I tried to cover my mess before you could see me. Art asked me to stop doing that. And in the painting on the right, Art said, would you be willing to reveal your secret so that you can find freedom? In these next paintings, Art asked me to address the question of what is depression in my life? Would I be willing to see that hope and happiness could come to the forefront in front of depression. And Art asked me, would I be willing to let go of depression, to embrace hope and happiness and joy? Here, Art asked me if I would realize that my life was swiftly passing me by as I struggled with addiction and facing addiction and looking at it and only thinking about myself every day and life was moving right on by. I answered that question. I was able to pick up with life. Here, Art asked me a very challenging question in response to a friend of mine's mother's murder. Said, can life and tragedy exist at the same time? Does everything have to be painless for you, for you to start living? Here, Art asked me if I was willing to invite faith back into my life as a beautiful way to learn and to grow. Then here, it said, will you acknowledge that you made a beautiful mess of your life and will you institute new structures so that you could keep addiction from gaining power over you again. Now this one asked me the most personal question. It asked me if I would be willing to finally quit hiding and embrace the truth of sexuality in my life. If I would put down the hiding in this whole fabricated system I had created to act like it didn't exist in me. Um, this one I'm still working through. And you can see it's a lot. There's a lot there. Um, a couple other things that art actually did, it wasn't just really about me. 
It started to take me from embracing myself and ask me would I be willing to embrace others. So through art, through art, it actually asked me if I was willing to see that we're actually all more alike than we are different, and would I be willing to see everyone else as equal along with me instead of thinking of myself as less than because of the particular issues that I had. So here are two paintings from a series that I'm working on about what does it look like to acknowledge others as equals. So here, um, I began to ask, can I see other people's issues as equal to mine? So you can see it's the same subject matter. They're both Abraham Lincoln. As you can't tell, I love history. And, but it's different colors, and there are different point of, points of finish. So this was my way of answering the question of, I'm equal with others. Even though my struggle is different, I may not be as far as long in the game, but I'm here. I'm still the same as the person next to me. Um, further, it asked me if I would finally see my struggle as something to be willing to take public. So art actually poses its own question. So beyond the questions that I intended to ask through my art or that art asked me personally, art actually has the power to pose its own questions to us. Yet the questions posed will be different depending on who you are as a viewer, what your expectations are, your experiences, and your interpretations. Um, art actually has the ability to enhance an experience, an environment, which is what I do now is use art to enhance someone's experience. It can actually engage you beyond just sitting at a conference and listening to a speaker. It can actually use questions and by asking the questions in a reinforcing manner, get you to really hit a point home and really make a response and change. I recently did this, I did an exhibit um, where we asked the question of what does it actually look like to lead? What does that mean? Who can do it? Who's included? Who isn't? So what I did is I did a creative installation honoring the life and work of Mandela. We included in that we did a life, actually near perfect replica of the jail cell where he spent the majority of his 27 years in prison. This is the exterior of it. So we went to create about what does it look like to have hope amid oppression. So you'll see on the inside we represent oppression. And with this we asked people to see could you survive what Mandela did? And would you hold on to hope and then go lead the country that did this to you? Thousands of people came through this experience and we asked them to really question what is leadership for them. And around the space I paired 10 other paintings of different leaders, some famous leaders such as Desmond Tutu, Pope Francis, and then some not so famous leaders as well that most of us wouldn't know their names, but we wanted to honor them. Um, through telling the stories of these amazing leaders, we actually highlighted the fact that leadership can come from anywhere. It can look like a lot of different things in big ways and small ways. For instance, here with Pope Francis, we asked the question of what does leadership actually require of you? And we show here Pope Francis hugging the diseased man. I don't know if you're familiar with that image. And this is where his leadership required him to let go of the glamour and the glitz of his position and to acknowledge the reality of someone else's condition. Um, so even though I work to pose all these particular questions about what is leadership, what does it require, the art actually asked its own questions in addition. Um, one viewer spoke to me and said how they were asked by the art whether they could have hope that would endure fear and hardship. Another one spoke of how they were asked whether they had the courage to endure what one of the lesser known leaders had endured in their life as well. So through all these things could be seen as related questions to what I was doing, but they weren't the questions I worked for in the art. They were their own questions from the people who were looking at it. So on a personal level, art for much time had actually been asking me the question of what does it really mean to be known? What does that really look like to be understood? And I was actually able to take that question from me as an individual and put it on a grand scale and engage thousands of people at once in the idea of what it looked like for them to be known. So in my studio, I worked to create something to help people do that. So like, my, like many of you, I spent most of my life hiding from everyone. You'll see I had addictions, I had all these things I was trying to close out and act like it didn't exist. I thought that I had to choose between being fully known or being loved, fearing that if people really knew me, they wouldn't love me. Art, through its questions, taught me that I could be fully known and fully loved at the exact same time. It also taught me that other people wanted to be able to do that too. So it offered me the opportunity to do this in front of 12,000 people plus in one arena and then it traveled and did it for thousands more. 
And the art of knowing was about the question of what does it look like to reveal the inner workings of a person, yourself or someone else. So I created string art. And here are some examples of parts of the string art. And I literally did this on a grand scale so that I could draw over 12,000 people in one space into the idea of what does it look like for them to be known as well. And I had them choose to, be, to talk about what it would look like to be known in a way that would invite love in their life instead of judgment. The string was installed in a huge arena. This gives you a little idea of what that looks like um, for this large scale event. This will give you a little bit of idea of the scale of it. So I was going to be known in a really big way. I wanted to talk about this as a very big issue for people. Um, and then to the fur further enhance the experience, we paired it with a video of me telling the story of one of my deepest, darkest secrets. So in front of 12,000 strangers, I talked about my issues with sexual addiction on a video for all of them to hear and paired it with the idea of being known, the inner workings, the stitchings of who I was as a person. As you can imagine, this made me very sick to my stomach to be sitting in the arena and hearing people, waiting to hear people's responses. But what I realized is that people were starving for authenticity. They were starving for vulnerability. They were starving to be known for themselves. So when I creatively asked them if they'd be willing to become known with me, it was met the response of cheers and a standing mm -hmm. ovation. Um, a response of love was literally sparked in response to the art. The question of, would you accept this person who is choosing to be known? Therefore, could you be known and accepted as well? So when I answered art's question of was I willing to be known, others joined me in it and responded with it as well. So in closing, I want to leave you with a thought. If you've ever struggled with appreciating art, embracing art, understanding art on any level, next time I want to try to get you to view it through this one lens. Ask yourself, what is art wanting me to answer personally? You might find that you can actually enjoy on a whole new level. You might even enjoy the artist or even other people on a whole new level as well. So think of art as a question, a question that's just for you. Thank you.